Well, when it rains, it pours here in Philadelphia as JVR is now out for five to six weeks with a lower body injury. That's a dagger. A dagger. We just signed this guy for quite some time. It was our huge free agency splash that we made, and now he's missing a significant amount of time. And that's a long time because, in, in my opinion, five to six weeks – that means if he comes back then, he's not going to be 100%. This is an injury that's going to take time for him to recover from, and th this hurts. There's no doubt about it. This kills. Now, one of the things I've praised from the get-go was our depth at, at the forward position. It hurts. This kills. Our third line was so strong. I mean, JBR, Wayne Simmons, that's a powerful third line. Now what? It's not the end of the world. It's not like we can't win hockey games because JVR is out. But there's no doubt this hurts and it stinks. And it, it, when it rains, it pours. I swear to you. When it rains, it pours. It starts with the Eagles. And then Markel Fultz has taken a dive after that one explosive game in the preseason. And now JVR is out five to six weeks. Uh, it's, it's unbelievable. I'm, I'm bummed. I really am. This was it. This was the guy we went out for this offseason and said we're going to make it work we're gonna make the addition of JVR coming back here be really super beneficial the power play the the way he could provide a spark for us with goal scoring and just veteran leadership I mean when we had him in the beginning when we had him when he was a young player he still had things to learn he spent time in Toronto he learned that kind of stuff body positioning the way you protect the puck just learning the National Hockey League and the way it's played. And, and we finally got a player, a star, to come here. And now he's out five to six weeks. I mean, I'm bummed. I'm bummed. We have our home opener tomorrow against the San Jose Sharks, who just got William or Eric Carlson, I'm sorry. And, you know, he just he created a, a level of depth for this top nine that was unbelievable. And, and part of our success story for this year was going to be how deep we were at the top of our, our forward lines. Now I see reports that maybe Jordan Wheel steps in there. And listen, there's no knock on Jordan Wheel, but he's not JBR. We spent $7 million a year on this guy. We spent big time money on him. I mean, it's a dagger. I, I'm upset. I'm upset because this was it. This was the pride and joy was the top nine and how deep we are and how we can outmatch opponents. You want to match third lines with us? That's fine. Good luck. That's what we were looking for this season, and we had it. And just like that, because of a puck that hits him in the knee, he's out five to six and, and maybe even more. Maybe even more. I, I can't imagine from personal experience, even though I understand this is the NHL and not D3 NCAA hockey, but I was told four to, four to six for my thumb after surgery. I couldn't hold a damn hockey stick till seven, seven and a half. But it is the NHL, and they have all totally different medical staff. I get it, but <sighs> what a terrible way to start my day today. What a terrible, terrible set of news. When it rains, it pours here in Philadelphia, and that's the damn truth. Let me know what you think down below on, on this JVR situation. I'll see you next time.